Hello and welcome to the Metro Air Virtual Video Tutorial Series Part 1, getting familiar with the website. So the Metro Air website got revamped a couple months ago in early 2016, and uh, old and new pilots um, might seem daunted by learning about how to new the use a new website and bid on flights and navigate efficiently. However, this video tutorial will explain everything. Start off in the uh, top left hand corner, we have the Metro Air logo. If you click on it, it will just bring you to the home page. As you can see, I was already on. Uh, in the middle of the home page, we have a uh, news scroll. Here we have a Metro Air hub crawl on May 28th and 29th. And we can scroll between each news segment by with the left and right arrows here. And next line down here, we have an about us page, which we will go into later. And also a join if you are new to the airline. Uh, also down here we have the news textual version section which is the same thing as the picture version except it gives a little more detail and a link to also the um, blog post about said news and you can scroll left and right with the arrows up here. Now today we have a little today's summary on the airline's performance. We have 13 power ups so far today, 5 fats and flights and 25 bids in total. Recent hires list, we have a list of names as well as their country of origin as well as the hub that they chose to be a part of. Recent promotions, same deal, name, and um, rank that they have been promoted to. Uh, on the right most list, notable pilots, VATSM MVP in, in the month, most pirates in the month, and most hours in the month, as well as the name that corresponds with said uh, title. Uh, also at the bottom we have our partners including VATSIM, Fly UK, and VA Flash, as well as Sky Blue Radio, and that RAM node. Going to the very top left, we have the Twitter page, Facebook page, YouTube page, as well as the feed, which I don't think is currently working right now. Also we have a map of the current flying ACARS pilots. You can see there's one in the UK and one just about the party, you know, maybe Philly or New York. As well as I guess it was the party in Boston on his way down to Nashville. Look at that. Yep, see you have a list of current pilots that are flying right now as well. If we head back we have a caution symbol that means FA alerts affecting metro air operations in two cities including in this case Fort Lauderdale and San Francisco. And on the rightmost tab here we have the emails that you may receive, but I think that's only for staff members. Now, in first up drop down list is the crew center. This is, you know, everything you need for a pilot to get started. So we have your profile, which gives you like an overview of your pilot, you know, pilot code, title, hire date, hours, location, all the good stuff. And we have your necessary or not necessary, but corresponding awards and badges that go along with your uh, pilot profile. And you, al you can also see your most recent PI reps as well as the hours and the dates submitted and if they were approved or denied. Next here we have statistics. Uh, this is statistics on the whole air... Actually it's just by you, another one's a whole airline. Uh, you can see... Yeah, pilot hub airline, most flown aircraft by hours. And you got all the aircraft, it has a little pie chart as well as most flown aircraft by PI rep number. Next on statistics, we have maps, which you can see a map of all the flights flown, you know, um, nationwide in the U.S. and internationally. Scrolling down, we have statistics on landing, including landing rate and the flight and the aircraft that it was on. And you can see uh, if it was a grease landing, we have a pie chart of which aircraft you most grease your landings in. Uh, next on the list here, we have pie reps, which is the same thing on the profile main page. It's just that we have a list of pie reps. Uh, recent pie reps made by you in the hours and departure and arrival airports as well as the date submitted and the status of it. You can also click here to view on Google Earth which is a download export pie rep details to your computer and also you can click on this little information symbol for details including landing rate, cruise altitude, route, all that good stuff. Next we have bids which is your recent bids. Um, bids are what you bid on a flight in order to fly. You do not have to fly it, but you can only fly it if you have bidded on a flight. And you have a list of bids, same format as the list of pie reps. Career history includes uh, quizzes taken, promotions, as well as uh, any completed courses and any new awards or badges you have earned. VATSIM history is your recent 
flights flown on VATSIM, at least 75% of the flight must be flown on VATSIM in order to consider for it to be considered as a VATSIM flight. You can see, you know, call sign, departure, arrival, airports, time connected and time disconnected, and online time in total. Uh, finally, the last one is Metro Miles, which is Metro's uh, form of currency. And you can see the transaction statement of this if you deposited some or transacted some Metro Miles. Next in Crew Center, we have settings. Uh, there's a couple s or a few settings that you can do in the MetroWare website. First is you know personal details, name, location, email address, other contact info, and profile info. Also, next we have no notification notification preferences, which is you can um, choose if you want an email sent to you um, to confirm the pirate submission, an email sent to you to approve if the pirate is approved or denied by the hub manager. Also, there's a notification email for charter notifications. And you, if you want to if you want to change one, you can change it in the drop-down menu and click update notification preferences. Next in settings, we have the TeamSpeak account, which is a uh, overview of who's in the TeamSpeak. Looks like there's nobody in there now, and you can see all the rooms and how it's organized. First time connecting, there's a uh, little right up here on how to connect, and as well as in iOS on Apple devices, and I mean Apple mobile mobile devices. Sorry, and there will also be another uh, video tutorial on how to connect the TeamSpeak. If you want to change your password, there's a form for that as well, pretty self-explanatory. And if you want to update your form signature, you can do that in this menu as well. Moving on to About Us. Uh, here we have first drop down is today's summary, which is um, through the whole airline. Uh, um, you know, pilots that flew today, their flight number, aircraft, departing arrival airport, and hours flown, all the good stuff. Next, we have staff, which is a list of staff. If you want to get in contact with any one of these staff members, you have email, Facebook. Uh, some of them have Skype. Some of them have Twitter. Um, also, you can see their hometown airport, favorite destination, and favorite aircraft. Mm, excuse me. Next on statistics, I believe that is actually not the same as the one in your... Uh, crew center because the crew center is specifically or specific to you, and this one is specific to the whole airline. You can see the most aircraft flown by all hours is the A319 as of right now. Most aircraft by pirates A319 as well. And you can see uh, certain pilots with their names by most active pilots by hours, most active pilots by pirates as well. Most popular routes of all time, most popular routes of last month, most active hub of this month, and most active hub of last month. Now you can see the pilots online, which is the same map as we previously looked at in the top left corner here. Uh, same deal as before. Now also, we have our partners next, which is the same as the bottom of the home page. Next, we have our official logos. And it, it starts off by a uh, brief write-up of commercial use and legal terms and conditions of said logos. Also... To download it, you can right click on it and save image as and download it to a location of your choice on your computer. Next, we have finally Metro Miles, which is how to earn Metro Miles and what you can spend, um, and what you can spend Metro Miles on. Pretty self explanatory uh, table there. Uh, moving to the right one, we have human resources. Uh, first drop down the human resources is to request a leave of absence. Uh, a leave of absence is if you know that you will not be able to stay active in the airline for a time period of up to six months, you can request a leave of absence to still stay with the airline and um, avoid the uh, staying active requirements. Uh, pretty self-explanatory form to fill out their expected return date and reason for leave. Next, we have pilot awards, which is all the different awards and badges you can earn, um, and it explains it as well as the title. And we have a couple, you know, distinguished services, flight time, pirate training, and type rating badges and awards that you can earn. Next is the pilot handbook, which is actually a PDF download which is something very worthwhile looking into, especially for new pilots. It explains pretty much everything, all the terms and conditions, all how everything works, and how to fly effectively, all the good stuff. Next we have training, which is training tutorials. Uh, these videos are currently out of date on the old website, which is why I'm redoing them at this moment right now. 
Next we have VATSIM Online Pilot P1 certifications. If you go through all these training materials and take a quiz, and also you need to prove that you have flown, I think, two flights on VATSIM in, in their entirety, then you can receive your P1 Pilot Rating Certification on VATSIM. And moving right one, we have the hubs. Uh, currently, we have three hubs at MetroWare, Kansas City, Baltimore, and Los Angeles. However, the Baltimore hub is transitioning over to uh, Boston on the 1st of June, 2016. Uh, for each hub, there's a details list. I won't go through each hub, just uh, I'll just do Kansas City as an example. You can see all the destinations from said hub, uh, organized by short haul, medium haul, and long haul as well as a Google Earth top town satellite view of the airport. In the roster you can see all the pilots affiliated with the Kansas City hub. And in the statistics you can see uh, stats such as most aircraft flown, most aircraft by pyreps, most aircraft by pyre uh, sorry, pilots by pyreps, pilots by hours, top routes, and top top active pilots on VATSIM for last month. And that's the same deal for Baltimore and LAX. Moving on to the operations page, first thing we have our fleet, which is the Metro Air Fleet. The 73-700 is, I think, technically retired by now, and uh, there's no image uh, for that plane because it is retired. As We have the Dash 8Q200, Dash 8Q400. The 732 is also retired. However, you can still fly on a couple uh, special select flights, but there's no image for that one. We have the ERJ-145, ERG, correction, ERJ-170, A319, A320, A321, Boeing 737-800. We have a code share with Fly UK, and they fly 737-800s. Also, we have the Embraer Legacy 600, Airbus A330-200, Airbus A330-300, Boeing 757-200, Boeing 787-8. There's no image, not because it's retired, but because it's so new that we don't have an image. Uh, also, lastly, we have the Boeing 777-300ER. Now, you'll notice for each aircraft, there's a schedule. If you click on that, you can see the schedule. Um, if you have any flights, uh, it says no flights found because there's no Q200 flights out of Boston, which is already pre-selected for me. Also, you can see a seat map, which is, which is you know, pretty neat. Not many airlines that I know have that. Also, a download in case you want a freeware version and any liveries that go uh, correspond with that aircraft. Next we have schedule, which we will not cover because that will be covered in our next video tutorial series of bidding on a flight. Below that we have delays, as you recall from up here where it says FAA alerts affecting Metro Air operations in two cities, Fort Lauderdale and San Francisco. You can see more details on that on this delays page under operations. Flight assignments, we will not go into that because that is uh, that will be included in the other video of how to schedule a flight. Book a flight, I mean. And lastly, we have our charter request, departure, arrival, airport, as well as aircraft review you're choosing, and the week that um, you want your charter to be active, and if you want the return flight, any additional notes, send charter request, boom. And staff center is only for staff members, but that is currently not functional on the new website. Top right, finally, we have the home button, which just does the same functionality as the logo, just brings you back to this page. Forums will be covered in yet another video. The blog is all the news that has, mm, excuse me, that has uh, come to Metro in the recent uh, weeks, months, maybe even days if it's that recent. And you can scroll through that and click read more if you want the whole blog listing. Uh, and we have finally have contact if you want to contact the CEO of Metro Air, Matt Calzada, and you can subject and message. You'll already fill in your email address and your uh, pilot number as well as your name. And I guess that concludes it for the Metro Air video tutorial series number one, getting familiar with the website. I hope you learned a lot, and if you have any questions, please drop me a line by clicking on the training um, drop down under human resources and make sure it's under um, general training. Uh, tell me what you're interested in and tell me an available date and time if it is necessary to meet on TeamSpeak. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching.